Hello, my name is Jesse, and today we'll be covering how to add dashlets to dashboards in Nagios XI. So let's get started. First, we'll go to dashboards, and we'll make a new dashboard. So we have a bunch of dashboards that we've already generated, but we'll make a new blank slate dashboard just called simply uh, test. Let's just call it test and hit submit. Now we've added the test dashboard, which uh, is completely blank at the moment. It's just kind of like a, a blank canvas for us to do with what we will. So let's go back to the home screen. And some of the more easy graphs to get a hold of are under host detail. So go to host detail, select any host, and go to the performance graphs section. And you'll notice there are a bunch of performance graphs associated with this host check. All these graphs are called dashlets, and they all have this little icon, which we like to call the dashify icon. So we can click on any dashify icon to add this dashlet to our dashboard, which is test. We've defined that dashboard, so we'll add it to the test dashboard. Now, that's simple enough. You can also do the same, of course, under service details. So if you're interested in MySQL connection time, for instance, and you want uh, some sort of dashlet of that uh, MySQL connection time to appear on your dashboard, press the dashify icon, select your dashboard, and press add it. Now that's, uh, that's straightforward. You can do that for any host and for any service. Now, two of the more advanced things that you can do are, and, and I just like to point these out because people don't realize this right away. Uh, the first one I want to bring to attention is under reports. You can go to availability, and you can see here's our avail availability charts um, over the last, you know, whatever period of time you'd like to select, let's say this week. So here's our availability chart over the last week. We can add these to the dashboards as well. So these are uh, pretty simple to add to dashboards. And of course, as they adjust with all of these advanced options that you can select, you can also add the adjusted dashlets to the dashboard. So with that being said, feel free to play around with the reports and see what you can and cannot add to your dashboards. Let's go back to home. One of the more advanced things that I want to bring to your attention is the Graph Explorer. Now the Graph Explorer details some advanced graphs for instance, top alert producers in the last 24 hours. These can be added to dashboards as well. You have host health, service health, and then you have a couple of advanced options in terms of your performance graphs. The most important, in my opinion, is the multi-stacked performance graph, which allows you to stack performance graphs on top of one another and then dashify the result. So what we'll do is currently I have just a couple of ping metrics on this dashboard. So I'll remove those. And actually, you can just click the X's here to remove them completely. And what I want is MySQL connection time. So we're going to add MySQL connection time to the graph. So here's our MySQL connection time for one of our MySQL servers. Then I know of another server that is also a MySQL server, localhost, MySQL connection time. Click on that one. And you can see it's the same metric. We can add them both to the graph, and they're stacked on top of one another. So. Um, in, in this way, you can compare your MySQL server's load against one another. And let's just say I want it to be a line graph, or I want it to be a spline graph, which is a more wavy looking line graph, apparently, or an area graph in which they're both kind of overlaid on top of one another. Otherwise, we can stack them on top of one another as well. A myriad of, of different options that you're allowed to select in terms of line type. I really like this. the look of this line graph. It gives me a very clear idea of my MySQL connection times. And I'll just uh, dashify this. And I'll go ahead and add this to our test dashboard. Press Add It. And now we'll go back to our dashboard section and check out what our dashboard looks like. By default, they'll, all of these graphs that we've generated will be laid on top of one another. So we can just move them around as we, uh, as we see fit. So I'll drag this one here. And here are a couple that I added previously. Looks like perfect. We've got a MySQL connection time graph. And here's a performance graph. So there we have port to bandwidth, MySQL connection time. You can reorganize these however you'd like to, and you just simply click and drag them around. And when you're done, and it's worth noting that you should resize these appropriately to fit the graph in question. When you're done, just pin these in place. So press the pin icon and they will stay in place and you're no longer capable of dragging the graph around. And you'll note that these graphs are still interactable, so I can click and drag to look at certain time periods among the graphs. Once the graph is, or once this dashboard is made to your liking, you can also deploy the dashboard to different users by clicking Deploy. Let's say I want to give it to Nick Scott. So I'll click Nick, and then I'll click the test dashboard and just press the Deploy button. 
dashboard is deployed to that user. And if you have any questions about that process, feel free to contact us at the support forum. It's at support.nagios.com forum. Otherwise, feel free to check out our related content at the YouTube channel. Thanks.